Hey, what's going on? JD here, and we've got the flat root reverse recon and recap. It is the first race in the Get Rolling series for Z Racing for the month of September. It is a one lap race, 10.4 kilometers with 61 meters of elevation. This is a map for the sprinters, for the big guys. There are no climbs to really speak of here. Although we will talk about a little bit of strategy coming up. Your best choice of bike for this route is the fastest bike that you have, the most aero wheels that you have. So this is a great course to pick something like the specialized Venge S-Works. In my case, I went with the Zwift Concept 1 bike. And before we get further into things, please do remember to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these videos. Throw us a thumbs up and leave us a comment and share with anybody that you know that loves Zwift racing. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out this channel. Now for this race, it's going to start out like any other Zwift race. It's going to be fast paced and it might be even more fast paced than normal because this route is so short. A lot of people have been telling me that this race has been super fast across all the categories. So people are going really, really hard and that's to be expected. This race is 10 kilometers and it's going to take everybody probably less than 20 minutes for sure across the board. Obviously, the higher categories will be doing this much, much faster. So my main goal in this race was to stay with the main group for as long as possible. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I knew the first part would be hard. Once we got up to the top here and got into the rollers, things did settle down a bit. It's way too early to go at this point. You would have to be a super strong rider to even consider taking off. But that's one of the things with these races is that there is the potential that people are going to launch off the front and try to break away to steal the win while the rest of you kind of sit back in the peloton, much like I am right here, resting, rejuvenating, conserving energy, just trying to take advantage of that draft, knowing that there is a strong possibility that there is going to be a sprint finish. So we roll along with the group, and then as we come to that last bump towards the sprint, we can see the first attack kind of goes off right about here. To me, super, super early, but a strong enough rider might be able to pull this off and he decides to go. He pushes over the top, a good place to do it, and he descends into the valley. You can see there's a little bit of a push to the guys ahead, but nobody's really urgent about it. I mean, we're only 20% into this race. We're coming down around the corner. We'll go across the bridge. We'll get the new power-up, so we'll see the power-ups popping. But this guy has managed to get himself a few seconds. I'm just going to stick in. I don't feel there's reason to panic at this point. Although, as we get a little bit stretched out here, I do want to stick with the people that are potentially going to chase. And you can see as we come to the banner, things kind of chill out a little bit. We start bunching up again. But he's got maybe two, three seconds down the road as we pass through the banner and get the last power up that you will get on this route. So keep that in mind, whatever you get. And I pulled feather. So we're just going to keep that basically till the only bump that really kind of matters later on. So as we round this corner, he's not getting that far away. I'm just kind of sitting behind I'm not motivated to chase. I just kind of want to stay in contact with this little group that's up front. But as you can see, the bigger peloton sort of moves through and I just kind of sit back into the draft. So we eventually absorb that guy that tried to break away and we continue rolling through the hills. The pack pretty much stays together. We go through the halfway point. We continue to go, we hit that little bit of gravel section, and then we start heading towards the tunnels. So as we're moving through here, you can see the pace 
isn't really that fast. It's a little bit slow. We hit the dirt again and we start coming towards the tunnels and then we'll notice that somebody starts pulling off the front, not at any great acceleration, but they're slowly there and they're slowly pulling away. I don't really panic at this point. I'm just going to stay in. I don't feel the need to chase. I don't feel it's any kind of attack to note. But as we head into the tunnels, he, he starts going, he starts pulling away and he continues to go and gets smaller and smaller. And the group is just ultimately going to sit here, plug it along. And I kind of expect, you know, with the downhill and the section that we're in that we're probably going to catch up. So as we continue and come to this bend, we kind of actually lose track of that rider. We don't see him anymore. And this guy here decides that that's probably a little bit too far. You just kind of catch a glimpse of him and decides to put in an effort and he's going to bridge. In my head, I'm thinking, should I go? But knowing my strength and the power profiles of people in Cat C, and that I am not the strongest person in this category by any stretch, I'm thinking that this kind of distance is too far for me to go. We can see he's still burning power, so he's putting a lot of effort down to make that bridge, and it's a good distance. Again, nobody in the peloton reacting. Now, I will say that if I had gone or somebody else had gone or maybe one or two other people gone, I think this may have been a different move, but the Peloton was quite happy to stay in this grouping. So it's kind of expecting the Peloton to maybe pick up the pace and chase them down. That really didn't happen. So at this juncture in the race, I remember thinking to myself is that these guys are probably with one point six 1.8 kilometers to go probably a little far for the peloton to actually catch up and that what we're probably looking at here is a bunch sprint for third place again this is a fairly large group in this race but I do something uncharacteristic of myself it wasn't planned and this is not something that I normally do I have that feather as we come to the only sort of hill. This is where I decide to launch an attack. And this is a good place to attack in this race. Now, I put down a good solid effort. I utilize that power of feather. You can see I am putting in seven plus watts per kilogram effort. As I go over the top, I continue for as long as possible maintaining a good pace you can see there's a little bit of a reaction but it isn't a fantastic one you can see that i managed to get myself about three four seconds off the group and i continue to push for me this is an extremely long distance in my head i honestly had doubts but i figured maybe we'll try to go I have no illusions of catching the people ahead. I know they are long gone. You can see they are 13 and 10 seconds ahead. So they have made a gap that's probably insurmountable for everybody in the group at this point. So first and second is locked off and we are really fighting for third. You can see I am still pushing, although my power is dropping and you can see the Peloton is picking up the pace to try to get things down and it is a big group. And we've got 0.6 kilometers to go. Every once in a while, you can see I throw a little bit of dig, but I, I am hurting at this point. So you can see the expression on my face and that I am completely bright red. My heart rate is getting up there. Uh, we're back up to five watts per kilogram. And we've got like about a second with 3.3 3 kilometers to go. Now, in my head... As we get closer and I, as I see things ticking down and as I continue to dig and see that the power numbers are close and that I am just grinning and bearing it, I have this vision of everybody passing me and me going from third to 15th, 20th place. The banner's there. I'm expecting that pass at the last second, but we managed to squeak through. Uh, I am excited. I am pumped. I'm sorry if I scared you in the live stream with my reaction because I was super excited about this. You can see 
13 seconds ahead was the main group. I squeak ahead a two second kind of victory over the rest of the group. I managed to hold them off. I get third place and my first cat C podium with breaking away from the group. So doing things that I don't normally do, managing to grab the podium. I'm super excited about this. I just want to thank everybody in the stream for the support. That's Lisey Cycling. Hella massive. Mitch on two wheels. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for being there to watch that happen live. I look at my power numbers. Pretty pumped. 3.0 overall. 7.8, 15 seconds. 5.2 for one minute. It was good. There was no way I was catching those two guys ahead. Fantastic performances by those guys. But thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button so you get notifications. And until next time, see ya.